Today, I'm gonna to try to do the Iron Wolf's fitness test. And rather than me explaining to you guys what that is, let's just hear from Art the Iron Wolf himself. Hey, what's going on everybody? Art Iron Wolf here. Hey, I'm training today. I'm gonna to hit a quick 100 clip, unbroken straight through of 106 count burpees with a weight vest. This should be the gold standard of fitness in my opinion. If you could hit this unbroken, and I mean unbroken, 106 counts straight through, doing the counts out loud. That's a good measure of fitness. We're gonna hit it. We try to do the reps with integrity, keep them clean. And we're gonna count all the way through, making sure that the counts are distinct and they're, and they're audible. All right, there we have it. The fitness test is 106 count burpees. Now, Art did it with a 25 pound weight vest. And I'll admit right up front that my vest isn't quite up to snuff, but I tell you what, here in a few minutes, we're going to go through what's in the vest and how much it weighs. And of course, be sure to stick around because Eric's going to share a few thoughts about what he does to get through the last part of the workout, especially when the workout's beginning to get tough and those reps are beginning to get more and more difficult. One, two, three, four, Okay, so let's just take a second and we'll go over uh, the vest and what I have in it and of course how much it weighs. Uh, so this is just the carrier, it's completely empty now. Uh, just an old one, it's pretty dirty as you can see. It's got some holes in it. Uh, we're able to order through our kit and clothing uh, one new carrier uh, every year and of course you literally wear it every day so it does wear out over the course of the year. So I, I generally do order a new carrier every year. Um, on duty, uh, and, and of course into the vest that I'm wearing here now, uh, these are just the soft body panels. This one is for the front, and then this one is in the back, and they're pretty light, they only weigh a few pounds each. Uh, but what really makes uh, the vest that I'm wearing here a little bit heavier is these uh, ballistic panels, uh, or plates right here. Like I said, they're pretty heavy, I'm dropping them on the desk. And, and what's really worked out well is the fact that they are contoured. You can see they've got the bend in it. So what I've done is I put the uh, them in behind the soft body panel. So this is up against my body. And because it's contoured, it kind of sits to my uh, to my back and to my chest. And then the construction of the vest is such, um, because this is the back here, and this wraps around your torso. And uh, it actually holds it pretty, uh, pretty snug and pretty firm, and it doesn't flop around. So for something that um, is old and expired and would otherwise be thrown away, it's actually turned to be a, a pretty good piece of uh, equipment that I can use in my training. Um, these soft panels, of course, are expired. Uh, they're good from seven, for seven years from the date of issue. Uh, and these panels are also expired. Uh, we've got a 10 year shelf life. And uh, we got these back in 2013, so they are expired now. So rather than simply destroying them, I figured why not put them to use. And uh, in, in total, they're about 20 pounds. All right, I'm gonna put the vest back together and then we'll get ready to use it in another workout. All right, there you have it, ready to go. All right, just for a bit of fun, let's throw it on the scale and uh, we'll see what the weight actually is. 
Five. Right there, five. shows us 20 pounds right on the money. Two. And I have a feeling five. that if we let that time out and try it again, we'll see if we get the same number. Three, four, five. There, there we go. Seven, one, two, three. So 20.2. So there's a little fluctuation, but for the most part, I think it's safe to say one, two, it's a 20 pound vest. Four, five, four, nine, one, two, three, four, five, 50. One, two, three. All right, so just like that, we're at rep 50, we're halfway through. And watching this back, although I wasn't really uh, trying to go at a specific pace, I was just trying to go on broken and to maintain an even pace over the entire 100 reps. Uh, when, when I got to 50, I was right at 4 minutes and 30 seconds, so it'll be interesting to see uh, when I'm done if I can be in around the 9-minute mark. So you can look for that, of course. But uh, we're going to talk with you guys here in a second, and Art's going to share some of the uh, strategies that he uses when he gets into the no-man's land and into the last quarter of the workout or the last 70 to 75 reps. So we'll chat with you and Art here in just a few seconds. All right, so we're going down for two, rep 70 now, four, and let's take a second and we'll listen to Art the Iron Wolf as he talks about the mindset that he has when he goes into the second half of a 100 rep workout, and more specifically, the mindset that he takes when he goes into the last quarter where he's trying to get those 25 to 30 reps done. We're gonna get tough around the 45. It's always about the halfway mark. And then 70, you start to feel the pressure a lot. And when you break that 70 threshold, um, you just got to hold on and it will be done soon. All right, there you have it. No sure coding it there. Hold on. It's going to be done soon. Uh, but that's seriously, though, the mindset you need to take. If you're trying to do something on broken and, and it's 100 reps, I mean, when you get to 75 and 80 where we are here now, you just got to really buckle down and say, you wonder what, uh, I'm almost done. I can endure the temporary pain that I'm currently suffering for the ultimate goal of being done and knowing that you accomplished what you set out to do. One, two, three, four, five, eight, one, one, two, three, four, five, eight, two, one, two, three, four, five, eight, three, one, two, three, four, five, eight, four, one, two, three, four, five, eight, five, one, two, three, four, five, eight, six, one, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, nine, one, two, three, four, There you have it. 
that's a pretty good fitness test in my opinion and like art said he considers it to be the gold standard if you can do that with a weight vest all the way through by the numbers and i can certainly attest to that having just done it myself that it definitely is a good test of your fitness all right guys if you're looking for another good workout or another way to test your fitness from the comfort of your own home and you want to want maybe you don't even want to test yourself maybe like i said you just want to have a good workout check out the video right here uh it's one i did with burpees kettlebells and the same weight vest all from my house just using the stairs 